zombie prom queen minus the tiara I still need to get my hands on that but I am a zombie prom queen and I'm gonna show you guys how I died in this video so stay tuned so I'm going to start out by using this white cream makeup that I got from a Halloween store and I'm going to just coat an even layer of it onto my face using a foundation brush just to give myself a more pale appearance almost like I've been dead for 16 years or so So next, taking my Coastal Scents 88 Color Eyeshadow Palette, we are going to create some sunken in cheekbones using the green shade and a little bit of black. And the key here is to use some black eyeshadow with a very steady light hand and it'll create an even more sunken in look. And I'm also going to incorporate some gray in there to give myself an even more dead, dull finish to my skin. And now we're going to create some swollen purple, black, and red under eyes. And I'm starting out with the black, just making a hollow sort of half moon shape under my eyes. And I'm incorporating some purple and some red tones in there as well. And to make myself look a little bit more lifeless, I just took some black shadow and hollowed out my chin. So next we are going to move on to the wounds, and I learned this technique from Dolly Face Re here on YouTube, so definitely go check her out, I'll have her link in the description box. But I basically just took some eyelash glue and created a nice line on my neck where I want my wound to be. And I took a thin strip of toilet paper and just pressed it onto the glue and I kind of distressed it a little bit so the edges don't look too flat or too straight edge. And next using some red cream makeup we're going to cover up the whiteness of the toilet paper with a flat brush and make it look even more like a wound. And obviously no zombie makeup look would be complete without some fake blood, so I picked up this at the Halloween store and I'm just going to apply it like so, kind of in random little spasms on my neck. And beware, this stuff does stain clothes. I did not know that and I ruined a dress, so be careful. So this is completely optional, but I just created another wound underneath my eye using the same technique. I finished off the makeup look with some blood red lipstick and I just applied it as usual and applied a little bit of fake blood on the edge just for the effect of course. And to finish off the look just get your hands on some sort of vintage prom dress like mine. I got mine from my neighbor and I'm just going to get a tiara and a sash to finish off the look for the big night but otherwise it's done. Fudge, does this blood stain? 